I'm so sorry, Germany. I really hope there's not too many Germans that watch this channel. I mean, they're not in the top five, but they are like in the top seven. Well, maybe the nuke won't affect North Rhine, Bavaria, or Banden. Let's be honest though. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I have a beautiful modern day version of Europe in World Box right now, and you gotta love just how accurate it is. There probably is only about 28 people living in Andorra right now, or uh, even just 18 in San Marino. Now, nuking Germany into oblivion might not destroy all of the Germans, I mean, sadly, their sheep population is definitely not surviving this. You know what? They might want me to take them out. They got way too many sheep. What are they going to do with all these animals? It feels like maybe the animals took over the entire civilization. I'm also a little bit afraid I'm accidentally going to nuke Czechia here. They have a very similar blue. Of course, it's going to have to be the Tsar Bomba, the biggest one of them all. Oh, man, there's definitely going to be some, like, side effects, some side nations. I think Luxembourg might just collapse. All right, well, here we go. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize we were dropping multiple, uh, mo okay, I did accidentally, uh, uh, whoops, I just wiped out all the lowlands. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, it's hard to, dang it, now there's a massive tsunami, but, uh, luckily the, uh, le luckily that's gonna stop some of the fires. Wait, did we just cause a European lake in the center here? Are uh, there several casualties that occurred during that nuke. Denmark is definitely gone, Switzerland's gone, uh, for some reason Italy is not gone, but they did lose a lot of their northern territory. I guess I shouldn't say for some reason, that they shouldn't have been destroyed, but it looked like they were for a second. Uh, I think we just destroyed all Germans accidentally. I'm, I'm sorry. Again, that was not my intention. But I do just want to see what is going to happen now, especially with this map. Since Germany is the heart of everything, what goes on now? Uh, Poland also just got pretty much half of their territory blasted. I didn't realize that. Are they going to be able to fix this stuff? They look like they're running around just like normal, though. They're not running around because of any sort of chaotic reason. Actually, there's plenty of people that are going exploring. They're like, yo, what the f***? Um, maybe it's not a great idea to, uh, run around in the nuclear fallout. That's just me, though. You can do whatever you want. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of resources now to be taken, again, if it doesn't have a bunch of, like, radiation all over it. The boats can now actually pass through the Danish... Uh, Dan Denmark is basically, like, a big, massive archipelago. All of the territory. There's no peninsula anymore. The Poles are kind of rebuilding. I mean, th the Poles... Maybe the, this was there before. I don't know. Like I were in the Age of Hope. Yes, we nuked Germany out of existence, and it's the Age of Hope hope. What? I hope you just playing. Is this supposed to be Gibraltar? Where's the rock at? Then shouldn't they have a giant rock? Ah, here we go. Here, I'm just gonna put a- I just have to fix this real quick. Oh, I just dropped rocks from the sky. That's not actual- Oh, okay, there's Gibraltar. One of those is the rock of Gibraltar. I don't know. I wonder if there's gonna be, like, French citizens that now move into the lowlands and then rebel and become the new, uh, Netherlands or Belgium. Kind of already have Luxembourg territory. We have Germany gone, and now France and the UK are fighting a war. So some things clearly just never change, no matter what the universe is. Uh, the problem is that the English have a ton of archery, so, like, any of the French boats that move through the English Channel are getting lit up. They are surviving it. Though. I don't know why you're continuing to hug the coast like that. I th this guy looks like he's just tempting. Oh my goodness, they just lost. They just lost. That's a huge invasion. They did their own reverse D Day, except it's the French, and I'm not sure why they dropped their people off in Scotland. That seems like a terrible, terrible idea. Also, keep in mind, France has significantly less population, only 500. Meanwhile, the UK, they are losing people. I was wondering what that boat did. Whoa! All right, yeah, don't, don't do this. G guys, just. And the boat left them there too, so they're just gonna die. Maybe they can move up to Scotland and try to hide. Maybe there's less like chaos up there. Okay, because none, no more arrows are firing, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say all the French died. Yeah, France is now down below 500 citizens. And interestingly, there are people using- Oh my gosh, we just turned Slovakia into a naval power. Accidentally. Slovakia is now using the rivers to, uh, to trade with people. That's kind of cool. They have their own harbor now? Do they build a harbor yet? In a way, so is- Wait, what just happened? Uh, a village was just destroyed. A uh, Catalan is gone. Catalonia. What? What? This guy died, and then the whole village just blew up. Was this like a meteor, or what happened? So, one nuke gets dropped all over Germany. Is that Italy? Italy moved, and they just ripped the lowlands away from France. We also have the Kingdom of Hungary at war with, I believe that's Croatia. Croatia, who's gotten a lot thicker since the absence of Germany. Croatia has a lot less people, though. This is gonna be a little bit more interesting since, uh, well, there's not gonna be just like a massive failed naval invasion. I do give you credit for that, France. That was pretty funny. They are getting their population back up to about 500. Just don't drop any more, uh, things. 
Netherlands. Oh, oh, is England? England's now the one. Now they're doing D-Day. That was kind of near Normandy. That was more Brittany, though. I think this is just going to be another disaster, but this time for the UK. We'll see. We'll have to watch their numbers. Croatia's dropped down to less than 100 people, but Hungary hasn't done too much damage yet. Uh, definitely some monarchs are about to die in whether it's Hungary or Croatia. Or is this guy just, like, trying to hide? Oh, he's chilling. He does have... He's got, like, a nice shovel on him. I think that's a shovel. He's 62 years old. You might as well go out with a bang. Don't, like, hide in the castle. That's lame. Oh, Croatia's dead. Oh, okay. How long... That might have happened a minute ago. I was not paying attention. Like how Russia doesn't have that much territory, but they have certainly a lot of people. Could do a lot of damage if they wanted. Andorra is for sure gone. We also have now, uh, is that Spain versus Hungary? Oh my goodness. Britain actually took over Brittany. The, the bees are, are uniting. Also, France looks like they're, are they, are they supporting Hungary? Do they support Hungary there? At least staying peaceful, but yet, um, I think they're just focused on recolonizing radiated Germany. That probably isn't too good for the pasta. Russia does still have their enclave out here and, and they're growing a bit. But Russia's actually at war with Norway. Oh, this is not a part of the world that you want to be fighting in. Oh, this is horrific. Anything up here, it's so, it's so cold. Is it, also, is Finland helping? I don't know if Finland is, is helping, but this is disgusting. Place is getting burned down. I really feel like the core of Germany not being here has caused Europe to go even more insane. Belarus looks like they just, oh, well, first of all, Belarus is attacking Poland. Poland just lost territory, and the UK has taken over almost half of France. France has been in this spot before. We have the French resistance in the south of France. Maybe Italy's gonna take this over now. Also, Spain and Portugal are at war. Uh, Portugal's down to less than 100 people. They are for sure not surviving this. Portugal is absolutely going to get taken over. Is there a war between Greece and Turkey? I wouldn't be surprised. There isn't just yet. Oh yeah, Portugal is gone. Uh, so we now have a united Iberia. France is still trying to survive their war against the UK. It just depends on how much the British are going to continue to push. So the British did have a successful D-Day naval invasion. Man, the French, I saw that French one. I'm like, this is this is horrific. No one's going to be able to do a successful naval invasion, but I think that was just because it was, it was France. Oh, I forgot Denmark's up here in Greenland too. I didn't even know that Greenland was included in this map. So Greenland, uh, Denmark survives, or wait, have they always been up here? I think they've always been up here. Or do they take a boat and just, like, leave? They went, like, Viking mode. Russia is still at war with Norway. I just, it's just kind of confused. Why didn't you go after, like, Estonia or somebody? Yeah, look at all these Russian troops. There's a ton of Russian troops. They're kind of just dancing around Norway's grave, I think. But it looks like, there it is. There is Greece first Norway. I knew they couldn't resist. Albania looks like, did they take out Montenegro? Or is that an independent, they're just, they're just similar colors. Romania is going to, oh, they just did. They just annexed Moldova. There's a big force moving. What what are you doing? You're going to Russia? Oh, because the tail of Norway was taken over. Who, who is this? Is that France trying to send or Malta? Sending a huge invasion to save Norway? I don't think that's going to work. Oh, that's cool. Denmark got Denmark back. How'd that happen? Denmark went all the way back here with their Viking ships, recolonized Denmark from Greenland. What, what was that? That felt like another asteroid just landed. Isle of Man is somehow still around. Another big invasion force. Uh, England is trying, to, they're trying to settle the north of France so they can, I think, finish France off down here. Italy has annexed San Marino, all three people, and Belarus has completely taken out Poland. I'd just like to remind everyone that we started this year off in 1993, so we're th 13 years into the future, more or less. We're still in the age of hope, weirdly. I guess that's my fault. I could have changed it. We're now in the age of the sun. This is a time of intense heat and brightness where the sun blazes down on the world. Uh, I guess we've kind of already been living in the age of the sun. Um, Germany quite literally has lived on the sun after I dropped that Tsar Bomba. The power of the sun in Germany. Okay, so France has fallen. Spain is looking good. I wonder if Spain's going to do some naval warfare uh, for Italy now. now. I realize there's two Maltas. This is supposed to be Morocco. Should I fix that? No, I like that Malta. There's Malta there now. That's cool. 14 people. That's fine. Oh my goodness. So if we go to the age of ice, um, is there going to be another ice? There might be another like frozen over global uh, ice thingy. What is that called? Snowball Earth? That means there'd be a big frozen lake inside of Germany. Oh, uh, Sweden took over. Denmark's reclaimed Dan Denmark. That's kind of sad. Oh, and Russia took this island because Russia conquered all of Norway. Russia now has over 2,000 people. That's by far the, the place with the most population. They need to be kind of concerned with Belarus, though. They've got quite a bit of population, too. They'd be a thorn in Russia's side. Spain should kind of worry because uh, the UK are starting to encroach on their territory, obviously, by taking over all of France. A blazing heat wave has swept across the land. Uh, so all this stuff is going to all the ice is going to be green now and then the green stuff is going to be possibly a desert meanwhile at that very same time wow this is kind of beautiful uh we just entered the age of dark you can say that again this is actually so cool i did not realize you could do this in world box now oh my goodness all the houses with the like dimly lit things can you even fight like this can you fight in these conditions if denmark has been killed somebody just kill is there what what is denmark at war right now uh they're at war against sweden oh i see sweden is dropping off forces they're trying to take over uh, all of greenland that's pretty impressive sweden oh greece did get completely taken over by 
by Turkey, but Turkey did lo I think they lost some population. There's a massive army. Now they have to get over to Greek lands and begin to take over these places. What was that? There was like a massive explosion by this harbor for some reason. Oh, there's definitely a dark mountain. They these guys are fighting in like the pitch black. Look at that. What even is happening here? Oh, so it's actually Hungary versus Italy at, at the moment. Hungary doesn't have too much population, but they've got a lot of land. Meanwhile, Ireland is somehow still alive and they took over the Isle of Man. That gives them a bit more land to work with. Is this guy just putting him? Man, this guy looked like he was about to oof himself, set himself on fire. Was he protesting something? Denmark is still alive, but I am seeing some Viking ships. Oh, I'm actually seeing Danish ships too. No, the, the Swedish Navy is actually just staying in the Baltic Sea now. Is Russia kind of losing, guys? Population is going to be hard to grow in these like harder times. I don't know if people are having as many babies. Oh, Italy's winning their war against Hungary. They just have to take over one more city or maybe there's another city. Oh, they took over Albania. Italy's going to have to take over Albania again. Okay, Age of Tears. The sky will weep endlessly, drenching the world in uh, ceaseless downpour of sorrow. Wow, the way that was put. Depressing. Well, at least it's not like completely dark anymore. The wars are fin to be so more epic. I'm so shocked the Baltics are still here. Has no one taken over the Baltics yet? Is this like a trapped Danish ship? Oh, you know what? No, Sweden and Denmark have... Oh, they haven't pieced out. Never mind. But that Danish ship is trying to make it back out of the way. And here is the last hundred Hungarians fighting for their life. I mean, if they're not taken over by the, by the Italians, it's definitely going to be the Romanians, U Ukrainians, or Slovakians. Oh, Slovakia is actually at war with Belarus. Belarus is absolutely going to take that over. Is it really raining that much? I don't think it's raining... Oh, I can't see it. It's raining a little bit. The King of Hungary is trying his best to just kind of hide on the edge of the borders. I don't know how well that's going to go for him. This dude's eight years old. No wonder. What? What? That's not fair. An eight-year-old kid is a king trying to lead a war against Italy. And then again, that's like the medieval ages, though. Pretty normal stuff. Now Italy's find themselves in a war against Finland, and that's probably a battle for their lowland territories. They haven't built anything, really. I mean, I don't know what you can build in the former German lands, but could try to do something. At least a pizza parlor or something. So Italy wiped out Hungary completely. They took over Albania and Montenegro. We also have uh, Serbia, who's not looking too good. Romania and Bulgaria going after Serbia. Any action in the Baltic or the Black Sea? The Black Sea is pretty calm. Oh, I think Finland actually did take over. Uh, Finland took over the Netherlands, modern day Netherlands. I guess they have to do something. They're kind of squeezed over here between Russia and Sweden. They have to find new land somehow. We now have Turkey going in after Bulgaria after they just wiped out Serbia. Bosnia is still around, but who knows for how much longer. Age of the Moon. During this age, the world will be bathed in a radiant glow. That wasn't the Age of Darkness. It does look pretty cool. It looks like we're on like an alien planet. Oh, wait. No. Oh, I see. So there is still raining and it's dark. Love that the ships have their own little lights though. They can kind of see out there. But man, you're getting really close. This is asking for like a shipwreck. Time to do some um, bombing raids at night since we have like so much light you can see. There is some. So oh, there's a big war. Oh, here it is. Let's see if Finland can survive. They are not going to survive. They are dropping like flies. These people are. And the Fro Islands are also at war. Iceland's trying to expand and get another island under their belt. Denmark is still okay. Denmark actually might last the longest. They might be the second longest reigning country after everyone takes over the entire continent. Oh, there's a meteor that happened in the North Sea, but I don't think it affected anybody. Maybe some tidal waves here. Wait, who took that over? Someone just grabbed this Russian stuff. Oh, man, I just saw a huge lightning strike. Oh, yeah, the lightning strike is messing this new territory up. They did steal this from Russia. That's Latvia, it looks like. Somehow, La so Russia's just single-handedly going and taking out all of their neighbors. They're probably going to go after Lithuania next. Yep, they're taking out all the Baltics. Ukraine is still around, though. Turkey took out uh, Bulgaria. Finland actually has control of the former Croatian slash Hungarian lands. Italy's at war with literally everybody right now, and I don't really know why, but all right. Russia's at 3,000. This is insane. They've got so many people. Yeah, Latvia has Norway currently. And I think Sweden's just trying to survive. Age of Chaos. I think we should have just gone there immediately. So is everyone just going to start fighting each other? Is this going to be like extreme war? The sun is definitely back, I think. But there is kind of a red a red tent to everything. Whoa! Look at this red cloud. Is that blood? Oh, I think it is raining blood. It sounds like a song. Oh, it is a song. It's like the dawn. The dawn of, uh, it's like the red sun. What am I talking about? What happens here? It's just red stuff all the time. Oh, Iceland is in a civil war, it looks like. Or no, that's actually Latvia trying to, Latvia's trying to survive. They've migrated their country several times. They're not going to try to take over Iceland so they can keep a hold of the Latvian people. There's so many Icelandic people. That, why, why are these people fighting? The horrible war clash has ended. So they have names for each war. The horrible clash. I'm glad it ended because that was kind of a weak name. Italy's still at war with so many people. Italy's definitely losing their northern territory because the UK and Spanish are coming down. Again, another North Sea meteor. Now it's the Russians that have control of the lowlands. It's the Brits that just took over Iceland. Iceland actually has uh, these. They still survive. Italy's now down to less than 300 people, which is not good. 
Finland is, is surviving in the middle of Europe right now. They've lost their Nordic territory. Who would have guessed? Uh, Germany gets nuked into oblivion, and then the skies proceed to rain blood. I don't know if that's what they're doing. They might just be, like, causing people to get angry. Let's check this person out. A giant. That's not a good combination. An angry giant? I mean, it's not a good combination for the rest of the world. Italy, again, is trying to fight for their life, but these archers are doing a lot of damage. I mean, these guys are just standing there. That's kind of the problem. Italy might have lost their entire military, though. The fact that the UK have allowed Ireland to live for this long is crazy. I guess they have, like, their hands full. They were trying to get more islands here. They're probably going to attack Denmark next. It's year 2021. We're now going to enter the Age of Wonders. So they might start building some crazy things. Maybe we'll see some giant triangles in the desert. There is no Egypt on this map. Maybe hope will rain down once again instead of whatever this red stuff is. Still a lot of that so that's moving around, though. It's going to take a minute for that to go away. Another meteor happened. Oh, it actually affected Russia a lot. At least still exists, but they just exist in Albania, and they're probably going to... I think disappear at any moment. Yes, they did. So this is all British lands now. Britain is the po the civilization with the second most population. Although Belarus is not too far behind. Belarus is in a tough spot. I guess they should attack Finland. How is Finland still alive? How is Bosnia still alive? I get why some of the islands randomly are still around, like Malta. Oh, Belarus just declared war on Finland. It's about time. I want to see if there's like some crazy monuments that start getting built up. Everything does look pretty nice and marbly. I don't think it's actually marbly, but there's still a little bit of stone in there. France is not looking too great, uh, even though this is UK controlled France. Uh, again, this stuff. Has not really been rebuilt, but there is some mining going on. So this territory is still somewhat useful, not much. Better than what Finland's doing with the Netherlands, just a giant fire. Be careful in the Netherlands, they like to eat prime ministers. Let's see if the UK jump in on this, this war to finally eliminate Finland. I just want to know how Finland transported 300 of their people. Wait, what is this bubble thing? Why is, uh, shielded? How do you get that? Is that why the Finns are so powerful? They got shielded people? They got like bubble boys, 60 year old bubble boys. Definitely have some sort of magic powers. I'm actually not seeing, ooh, the British are marching a lot of people to Iberia. Is that to Iberia? Are you guys thinking of doing some sort of war? No, that's Finland moving over this way, I think. Maybe they're trying to keep their civilization alive. Italy does still survive, but they are now just in Corsica. That's it. Finland's continuing to lose territory. Oh my goodness, I don't care how many bubbled people you have. This is insane. That's that's such a huge military. That is a huge army they got going on there. Oh yeah, the British are also at war. So yeah, the, the collapse of Finland has happened. They're gonna lose everything. This is really similar to the way... Oh no, that just was picked up entirely by Belarus. Never mind. Here we go. Age of Ice. There we go. Everything is being frozen. That's crazy. Oh, man. So is the... Oh, the, all of the channels are going to be screwed. All these boats are in so much trouble. Doggerland is probably coming back. There's actually, this was actually like real life land during the last ice age. So much of this is frozen over. This is actually really cool. I feel like this is kind of similar to the way Europe looked like in during the ice age. So the Baltic Sea is screwed. The North Sea is screwed. Oh, so they can still hover over this stuff. This is just ice, but they're able to cut through it. Can people walk over this? I guess they don't really want to. There's like snow everywhere. How is this going to affect war? How is there still red clouds? Also, the British, I think, still have Gibraltar or somehow. Finally, someone's trying to take over Bosnia, and I believe it's Turkey. Oh my goodness, a huge Russian civil war. I should have expected this. We have the high people who have about the same number of population. Whoa, I think the Russians are, they, the Russians have backup coming. They're like from the core of Europe, maybe from the Netherlands. What else is new? I mean, Russia's got to be unbearable at this point. If Ru Russia's already cold, now we're dealing with an ice age. The high nation people are continuing to get modern day Norway, and they're moving down to get more and more of that. Oh, they also have shielded people. Is that a giant? Power up, caffeinated, and shielded. Shielded. Did they get these mega? Oh my gosh, this person's just ugly. At least let the ugly person be shielded. Save him some confidence boosters. Denmark does still survive, which is incredible. So with the civil war in Russia, that does mean the great power in terms of population is now the UK, since they have all of France and all of Italy. They're allowing Spain to stay around. Oh, it's Turkey versus Ukraine. Oh, and Turkey does not have the same population as Ukraine. They're fighting these winter wars here. A lot of people just running around. This actually might make Ukraine significantly weaker, though. They might take out Turkey, but Belarus might take advantage of a weakened Ukraine. Russia is dealing another civil war, another uprising happened this time in the Baltic territory. I think they got a little bit too big. The age of ash, uh, so I think like a lot of volcanoes are popping up, but this does mean that the world will get less frozen. The world is still dark because I'm assuming the ash is causing problems. This is the greatest thing ever for Sweden. They now can maybe survive. I think High is actually going to take over all of Russia. They lost so much population. Everything else is still frozen over. Whoa, whoa, this is a crazy battle. I don't even know what's happening here. There's definitely a giant though. Someone looks like slightly abnormally big and I'm going to think they're a giant. Ukraine is still at war with Turkey. Turkey's down to less than 500 people. Oh, they're they already have Constantinople back. Does Ukraine rename it to Constantinople? Maybe. And yeah, they're just firing arrows across this strait, trying to take out these towers slowly. Turkish citizens, they're, they're falling like flies. Meanwhile, Ukraine is keeping up their population, at least. There's several war going. No, there was a little mini battle happening here because the Turks do have, like, this Bosnian territory. They still have to get rid of the stronghold. The British have been really quiet. So the Russians are, are being pushed out. The Russians are not going to survive for much longer. Oh, my good, a huge meteor. I just saw that. Oh, 
Oh man, the Brits were trying to rebuild up France and that does not help anything at all. And the final age, the age of despair, endless winter and darkness. All these ages, horrible. Unless you're in the age of hope. Oh, it's literally cold and icy now and dark and maybe there's ash, who knows? It's all, all the, all the combined. Can't even see what's going on. Now, Belarus needs to be worried because there's this, now this new power that's become this new Russia. They did lose like about 500 people than what the massive Russia had before. Russia is not even here anymore. Also, why is there a random boat? Oh, is this boat stuck? This boat is either stuck or he's exploring the blown up Germany, which blown up Germany is actually a lot of their land has been recolonized. I love how this area is now still being used as a lake though. Russia does still exist. It's just on this island. How many times has this island changed hands? All right, just so I can see better, we're going to return to the age of hope. Things are going to start to return to normal slightly. At least I think. We have to wait for all this ice to thaw out. Oh yeah, it is slowly. Okay, here comes the green. Very, very slowly. We're going to be able to see what the new German lake kind of looks like without all the ice patches. A lot of islands here. Uh, Britain is still trying to rebuild the uh, the meteor that destroyed modern France. There it is. Yeah, Belarus is taking advantage of Ukraine, who is at war with Turkey. Turkey's actually back now. Huge war for this area. Wow, Ukraine is dropping so fast. Oh, it, are, are the Brits involved in this? The Brits are moving over to the Balkans. They're getting a little bit of this. Wow, Ukraine, this is really sad. I knew something bad was going to happen, though. They, they kind of weaken themselves too much. It's the year 2038. Actually, Belarus is looking like possibly the strongest power in Europe. Oh, another huge meteor. This time it hit Finland. Oh, that took so... Oh my goodness. That was hugely impactful. That infected so much of uh, this high nation, former Russia. Probably oofed a lot of their citizens. Holy Kim. This sounds like uh, North Korea. Supreme leader North Korea. We have North Korea now in Europe. I like that. Finally, High has decided to take out Sweden. Denmark is actually at war with High too. Oh, and the British are dealing with civil war. Well, that goes... There goes the British. Then uh, be the British having any chance of... Uh, surpassing Belarus or catching up to Belarus at least. I think they got just too big and another revolt this time in Albania. Oh man, Holy Kim is gone. Wagner? Is that Denmark that came back? Denmark just grabbed their island back again and Norway. Problem is that they're at war with Hai who has over 3,000 people. Also Sweden's collapsing. Everyone's at war with Belarus or at least a lot of uh, Western Europe. The problem is the UK is losing a lot of people. Turkey's just trying to chill over here honestly. More holy lands popping up. It's not the Vatican though. Okay, all of the Nordics are firmly under Hai's control, well, I guess except for Denmark. Sweden now controls this island. That's all what happens. Like, this island gets invaded by a boat, the 20 people that live there get ravaged, and then new 20 people come move in, and then just repeat that for every civilization. Oh, Malta's down to one person. Who's at war with Malta? I don't think anyone's at war with Malta. Is it just the, is this their one per, that's a pretty sad civilization, but kind of cool, you get to live in your own country. Oh, Belarus has northern France. Well, it's definitely safe to say you would have a pretty moderate impact on the earth, let alone Europe, if you nuked Germany into oblivion, and you had like a German lake. I didn't know that. This game taught me a lot. And big thanks to my patrons. Destiny Drew Ducker, Drew Ducker, the model. Cartographer. Sebi, if you hear Subscribe this, I love to Drew now. I am the king. A fat Norwal. Carmel S. No Inquisitor Zarius. Channels, now Reno is best AI. girl. Luxembourg 5610. Robert E. Rye the Pie. The Great Ralph. The Mexican Quick and Hamster. John Denver. Glad and Jack Traven's annoying friend. And why am I doing this?